If you're a first-time car buyer and looking for an entry-level hatchback at a price point of around 3 lakh 20 thousand rupees, you're going to boil it down to between the Alto K10 and the Hyundai Ioniq. Both these cars have some creature comforts to offer, and also they boast of a very large service network. So, which of these cars is right for you? What's this comparison between the Alto K10 and the Hyundai Ioniq, and decide? When the Alto K10 was launched, it was pretty much in a class of its own, just a step above the regular 800cc Alto. In terms of looks, the K10 is fresher and younger, with a slightly longer snout to accommodate the 1.0-litre K-series petrol engine. The car is fun to drive with the 67 bhp of power and 90 newton meters of torque. What it does lack a bit of, though, is space. And that's where a car like the Hyundai Eon comes in. It may not be as big on par as the Alto K10, as it has a smaller 800cc engine that puts out just 55 bhp of power. But what it does offer is space. The Eon sits taller than the K10 and offers better seating comfort. When it comes to seating comfort, the Alto is slightly more cramped than the Eon in the rear, although even the Eon can only see two people comfortably, while three is a bit of a squeeze. Just compare the boot space of both the cars. The Eon clearly has an edge with a 215-litre boot, compared to the Alto's 170-litre boot. Now, when it comes to features, the Eon Magna variant and the Alto K10 VXi both have similar features, such as an efficient AC, front power windows and power steering. One extra feature that the Eon has is a useful gear shift indicator. Now, when it comes to fuel economy, it's quite obvious that the smaller engine Eon will be more frugal, but it's only marginally better. The Eon has a claimed mileage of 21.4 km per litre, while the Alto has a mileage of 20.2 km per litre. Overall, it's very hard to beat the Alto K10 when it comes to value for money. You get a peppy little car with the features that you need and a great performing engine. With the Eon, you get a lot more space. So if you're looking for a car to just be a daily commuter to work and back, the Alto K10 is better, but as an entry-level family car, the Eon has more appeal. For complete test drives on video of the Alto K10 and the Hyundai Eon, log on to cartalk.com and go to the specific pages of these two cars.